Ghana's greatness began with the MPP. Listen carefully, let me tell you a story about the great history of this party of democracy. Ahofamafu Furoku, birthed by the mighty, enormous, new and patriotic African elephant who threads majestically on the rich soils of the Ghanaian land. Center-right liberal conservatives founded by the finest of gentlemen this country ever had. Dr. K. Ebuzi and Dr. J. B. Dankwa, S. E. Dombo and a group of like-minded people. Taken over by Dr. Ajikum Kufuo, down to our very own president, father and leader Nana Adu Dankwa Akufu Adu, liberating the energies of the people and standing firm for freedom and justice. Have you seen the radiant red, brilliant white and confident blue? Sit tight, listen right. Let me take you on a cruise of great achievements and delight. During the early 1980s in the political history of Ghana, an aggressive cabal emerged from the mental wombs of military giants. Their goal? To free the Ghanaian people from the chains of hardships and the manacles of poverty. Incidentally, this cabal wasn't destined to be short-lived as it stood the thirst of time for about a decade. However, Following the international community's advocacy and the Ghanaian people's increasing demand for democracy, the cabal was to be disbanded, causing it to quickly transmogrify into a social democratic party in the early 1990s. Their father, their leader, their founder, His Excellency Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rollins, that man, he had a vision for Ghana. The break of this new dawn ushered in the birth of a union called the National Democratic Congress, clad in green, white, red and black shades, shielded over by an umbrella with a dove's head signifying the divine protection of God. They have since reigned as the colossus of elections in Ghana and known as the pioneers of the fourth republic of our beloved Ghana. I heard from the eagles that coat our arms that the MPP is the king of infrastructure, building the presidential palace called the Jubilee House, constructed and rehabilitated our sports stadia, and pulling off five interchanges in less than four years. Guys, can we trust any eagle that quotes arms? And by the way, the eyes in the slogan of the NDC represent insurmountable infrastructure. No wonder they are the architects, masons, and laborers of the Fourth Republic, the bossu of interchanges, roads, and water plants. Do you know who the real bossu is? The great African elephant who brought about planting for food and jobs and the One District, One Factory initiative, boosting the largest sector of our motherland, Ghana, agriculture. <laughs> what were you told? That the green in the NDC flag stands for life and sovereignty of God? Well, that's not false, but it also stands for agriculture, the provision of food and lives for people. Fact check. By the year 2011, His Excellency Professor John Evans Atamos had almost doubled our cocoa production right from 2008. Since when do colors provide food and lives for people? Well, have you heard of the free SHS? The one that's helped 794,899 students as at 2019 and 1.2 million students since 2017? The NPP has no doubt upgraded education to the next level. Oh, there you go again with just another gimmick. As for quality education, it is represented by the E in the C of the NDC. That is why under John Mahama's regime alone, 1,856 basic schools, 203 E blocks, 1,347 KG blocks were completed, finalized and concluded. Plus, more than 1 million free laptops distributed to students and teachers for quality and not just free education. <laughs> oh please, reserve the rhymes for the nurseries. Health is life health is wealth. The MPP has performed far better when it comes to health. NHIS rings a bell. NHIS has helped millions of Ghanaian people. This great elephant surely leads by example. Do you mean the same rhymes that made Nesri worth wow? Mmm, I see you nodding. The largest investment in healthcare in the Fourth Republic remains a bragging right of the Umbrella family, noted for constructing about 100 or more health centers within only four years. Hmm, continue with the hyperbole while we continuously groom and empower the ever-vibrant youth in the country. Our youth wing, Tescon and Sunday. Come on! As for youth empowerment, the choice of the party's leaders, flag bearers and representatives speaks for them. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's agree to disagree. Yeah, it's okay to disagree. Let's not lock heads over our differences. Let's not shed blood. Quick fact check. Over 1 million people were massacred in the Rwandan genocide of 1994. Over 383,000 people murdered in South Sudan as a result of war by the year 2018. To put these numbers into perspective, for every one person killed, another person has lost a relative and a loved one. This is not what we want for ourselves. We want peace for our motherland. Let's hold our emblems and stand together. And in unison, we shall rise beyond our political horizons. Because, because we are one people, for God and, and for country. country. The nation demands your devotion. Let us all unite to uphold her and make her great and strong.